Welcome back to the Tennessee Frugal Craftsman. I just wanted to give you a uh, update on a project I did for my friend and it was uh, the issue I've been or something I was working on for a couple Saturdays a little while ago when I was dealing with uh, planters and so I wanted to show you how I did these raised bed planters. Now these, I'll just kind of step back here and pan around here. So there's a total of one, two, this one is actually a large one, three, four, five, six, seven uh, raised bed planters. Uh, they didn't want to have pressure treated lumber around their food items, which I can understand because of the the need to uh, for that stuff to leach or the tendency of that stuff to, to leach. And so what we did is we just did regular 2x4 lumber, 2x10 lumber. Uh, and then on the inside, so they can, they can let this weather or stain it. Now the very base are, are against the ground. That, that's pressure treated 4x4, four four, ground contact. Um, but uh, on the inside, what we did is we actually put uh, 6 mil black poly. And that wraps right up over the 2x10. And then I capped it with this 2x4. And then to keep it from spreading, I just got some uh, metal corner that's used for putting uh, on sheetrock. It's galvanized. So what I did is I just took and, and folded the corner together so it's doubled. And then I nailed, put one nail on each side into main supports. Those little, those little supports there. Uh, and that's going to keep it from spreading apart. And so uh, most of these, as you can see, are... Um, fairly straightforward, not that difficult to make. Once you level your base, once you get your base leveled on the uh, the planter, and, so, and some underneath some of those bases, because uh, they're right, right in mud, what I did is I used a little bit of crushed rock over here to level underneath the base. But once you get the base leveled, it's just a matter of building, you know, the two by ten walls. Now this one, you can see they've already got some peas and and some uh, oats growing. Uh, but what I did is kind of zero in here. Uh, these are two by fours and I, I covered the ends down in the ground with uh, the specialized tape that they use for flashing windows. Uh, zip tape, I guess is what they call it. And I put these supports about one every three and a half feet or so. And so you can see them there those those two by four supports and then when I put the plastic on what I did is I just I put the plastic all the way down right over the the outside four by four you can see the four by four down here so the four by four is flush with the inside two uh, two by ten and what I did is I just run the plastic straight down and I wrapped it around all of these pieces so it's all in kind of watertight I didn't put any excess staples or anything like that in it. Most of the stapling was when I wrapped the plastic over the top before I put uh, the 2x4 on. Screwed everything down with uh, deck screws and whatnot. Um, I'm sure that if they, you know, they keep, they, you're careful with the plastic, this should last them for a good number of years. Uh, and then uh, made all of my joints, as you can see right here, over one of these supports so we could screw in and that that way every three feet or so you're getting a double set of screws like I said you can see these ones are actually stepped two stepped ones and these ones here are stepped up the hill there's there's three of them going up the hill uh, and I've got about three feet in between them that gives you enough to real put a wheelbarrow around in here and so yeah, I just wanted to let you know how those are made. They're not very difficult. Like I said, everything is is just a 2 by 10 screwed together with capped with 2 by 4 The main thing is to make sure that you have uh, your, your non-pressure treated wood lined in some way. I know I've seen people put steel in there, but this is a cheaper way of doing it. And that 6 mil should last if, if they're careful with it when they're digging around. Uh, and uh, ideally, I think what they're planning on doing is fill this on up higher 
um, to cover up those straps because those taller ones, because this one is actually a two by ten and a half in height because they're going to plant asparagus and stuff like that. And so I put a double set of those straps in so that you're seeing the top strap and there's another one down, but another six or eight inches. So that will hold everything from, like I said, spreading apart. So this one over here is about a two foot one, uh, but ones where you can work on both sides, as you can see here, this one is about a three foot, three and a half, I guess it's about three and a half feet. So these three are all three and a half and the outside ones where you're only working with one, uh, kind of leaning in over those ones are actually two feet so just wanted to let you know what what the Tennessee frugal craftsman does uh, in his off time to make some extra money to help out friends and whatnot and so uh, until next time if you like said if you like what you're seeing please like and subscribe uh, but I hope to be back on the property doing some milling on Monday and Lord willing and so I'll try to finish up those last six logs that I had up on my dock loading dock and once I get those six logs done and get some some of my lumber stacked around uh, tidied up a bit I think I'm gonna start uh, laying the foundation for my outbuilding and so I'm gonna shift gears a bit away from the milling for a while and try to get some storage because I have absolutely no place to put storage right now and so until then you have a great day, and I will see you next time.